Elsewhere around the world, over in Syria, airstrikes by pro-government forces are reportedly continuing despite Russian President Vladimir Putin's call for a so-called humanitarian pause. Nuaram has the details. The humanitarian pause, as Putin put it, was meant to allow for civilians to evacuate the rebel-held area. It was meant to start Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. local time, but activists on the ground reported airstrikes and artillery fire from pro-regime positions within minutes of when the pause was meant to start. Russia and its ally Syria, however, blamed the rebels for the collapse of the truce. They accused rebels of shelling what Moscow has described as humanitarian corridors meant to give civilians safe passage out of the enclave. The insurgents denied such shelling and UN Security Council members, including the US, have been demanding Moscow implement a 30-day ceasefire resolution adopted on Saturday. Meanwhile, Russia's proposed pause in hostilities is also meant to allow humanitarian aid to come in. But the International Committee of the Red Cross says the five-hour pause is too short for delivery of vast amounts of life-saving aid. Hundreds of people have died during the bombardment, which intensified about a week and a half ago, marking one of the deadliest in the Syrian civil war, now entering its eighth year. U.S. media also reported Tuesday, citing U.N. experts, that North Korea has been sending supplies such as acid-resistant tiles, valves and pipes to Syria that could be used to produce chemical weapons. The allegations came two days after a suspected chlorine attack by the Syrian government on eastern Ghouta, which Damascus denies. A yet to be released, UN reports suggest Damascus paid Pyongyang for the supplies via several front companies. The report was said to have been compiled by a UN panel assessing the North's compliance with international sanctions. No Adam, Arirang News.